man give me shine like be my headlamp Pack it around my money like semi rubber bank Hello people, welcome back to the Fix It. Your boy Nar here with Ari, and we have an icon in the building. But before we get to that, we have to say big up to our sponsors. I to your life, Herbos, where cannabis and culture combine for a one of a kind experience. Visit them at 10 Airways King's House Road, just across from Canadian Embassy. Also, follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info and strains and merch. This video is also brought to you by Lothian's Boutique. Follow them on Instagram at Lothian's Boutique and you can check them out at 23 West Tradeway in Portmore. You can use my code Ariane 10 to get 10% off your next bundle purchase. Shout out to Pure24. Pure natural supplements designed in as a body and mind. They make supplements affordable, effective, and easy to use. Visit them at pure24store.com and remember that their products ship worldwide. Also remember that you can use the code THEFIX to get 15% off all purchases. That's promo code THEFIX to get 15% off all purchases. All right, people, as I said, we have an icon in the building to be more mm -hmm. specific, icon. Hi. Hi, Khan. <laughs> Came around, Khan, and the building people. Bless up. When Yay. I deal it, before, before I actually start, okay, Pure cool. 24 actually works because I use it. You, I was going to say, tell me, I never want to do it in <laughs> well, the interview. Actually, yeah, I'm not like, God, them, them not like the old, the old long that the add them. Because I have testimony yeah. for you. Know, I just said, like, yeah. I'm so, you asked me how actually, I was, yeah. and I said I was tired. And it's true, I've been so tired. Like, my drop of sleep yesterday must be like, Four o'clock when Marie reach home, and I may say, shit, man, I got able to sleep again. <laughs> but I just take it, and then I was able to sleep. Sleeping yeah. one of them yeah. working, are you? Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We use the sleeping one them, especially yeah. in the time zone change. Yeah. yeah. And it work. True. True. So, but it's the, the vitality one them, no. No, no we use all of them, but the sleep one work for you. For free. Yeah, I don't mean, know, I know about the sleep works. one. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It works. So what? Vitality make you, like, go longer in bed? That's, That's a matter. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> we need further testing, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Further testing. Well, me yeah. use a four body one. The, like them have four four year body or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But me I said I get sick, but true when wear the the mask, I haven't been sick in two years. So immunity. Yeah. Too. That one. Yeah. Provo code to fix. <laughs> Bless up camera, is it me? It seems like it fresh. It's, you're fresh out of from out of Africa. Is it me? See it? Yeah. I just come from Africa. Uh, you are uh, uh, and um conscience is there? Conscience is there. Charlie you look alike. is there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, really, I gotta do this though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's surprising because we do a say, when people say you look like him, it kind of irk you, but the man say, oh, yeah. them well, blind forces. Big mm. up conscience, as I said on my last interview. Conscience mm. is conscience. Mm. Kemai Akan is Kemai Akan. Indeed. And the last interview, me and conscience never did a par. Mm. Yeah, so. Wait, never did a par? Yeah, because yeah, you, never, got, you yeah. never. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, how that go on? I mean, so, it happened that. During COVID, when well, well, COVID started, I was working out at his studio mm. um, with his producer. He end up come Jamaica, get stuck at Jamaica, and we just start par. Ah, mm. yeah. See, isolation makes friends too. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, in a way. Mm. Um, and not only a friend, he has been more of a mentor too. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Conscience has done a lot for dancer, like True. I can say. You know, and a wider scale. So big up conscience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then what ways has he been mentoring you? Yeah, why teach you? The obvious, I mean, so it. in terms of business-wise, because, mm. you know, we in Jamaica, we don't pay attention much to music business. Mm. So in terms of collabs, there's a lot of collabs that conscience do that probably Jamaica would never ever hear. You know, he had the soundtrack for Fast and Furious that come out the other day. I don't remember exactly. Nine? Um, he was, was it nine? Yeah, it's remember. the nine. The last one that come out. He had yeah. the soundtrack That's for that. Nine. Oh. Mm. Um, in terms of publishing a lot of things like that, yeah. Mm. All of them little things that um, conscience might know about sound exchange. A lot of artists probably don't know about sound mm -hmm. exchange. What's that? That's like money pull on for you. In some way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and all of them little things mm. where I do have to get into. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, I saw that you guys collaborated on a song too. So like yeah. that was born out of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, song called Volcano. Mm -hmm. Drop the video. It's doing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So talk more about your experiences in Africa. How that, how that going? <laughs> Africa, <laughs> it wasn't what I expected. Because mm. you know, everybody have an idea of what Africa is. True. Yeah. To go there, it was an experience. Um, it was something that I really feel like you have to go there for really see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. But everything is pretty modernized. Like, yeah. it's normal there. You mm -hmm. know, you have nice cars there. You have 
nice things, nice people. And them actually love dancehall more than how we love dancehall. That's what I'm realizing now because so many of our artists going over there, you see how pop can get probably treat like one king Jesus yeah, like, comment. First of all, when they reach, time. they meet at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Mm. They meet at the airport. Them just they love people and they love Jamaican culture. Mm. Mm. And it's fair to say them love Jamaica more than Jamaicans love Jamaica. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So big up well. Africa, mm-hmm. everywhere in Africa. I see Popcorn went there too. Mm-hmm. Conscience is there, Charlie Blacks is there, and everybody get the same love. Yeah. Me, they barely know me, and I got a lot of love there. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. You think that was true, but proxy? Because of conscience. <laughs> <laughs> um, fear to say, most of yeah. his fans from there mm-hmm. yeah. who have must have been following him mm-hmm. and they see the connection. I'm mm-hmm. sure you get fans, new fans. Yeah, of course. Of course. I got a lot of fans. I post a lot of reviews that I got from my performance mm-hmm. and whatever I've done there. And yeah. Yeah. And you said you realize that or are, are you realizing that Africa is a new market that we can truly tap into? Cause I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember one of my interviews I've done with you guys. Mm-hmm. I told you that Africa is one of the markets that I really want to tap into. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause African people love and appreciate music on a different level. Mm-hmm. In Jamaica here, it's kind of different. Here your boss, and if you're not in the limelight or you're constantly, not right? constantly doing all the things to trend and all of this, mm-hmm. then forget about you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is fine. The world is so big that you don't really have to try to keep up with everything that's going on. Because if you try to keep up with everything that's going on, you get kind of get lost. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But TJ touched on buying views. There's a lot of that going on. <laughs> yeah. So you never get buying views. Never. <laughs> Why? It's like tricking yourself. Mm. <laughs> but I mean, most people think there is a value to it. Like How? You, you get the attention that you want, and, and then you get when you the get the attention, attention, what you do? Because the songs that you're buying views for is not trash. necessarily songs that you know what I mean. Mm. I mean, I gotta say trash. But and every song that come out of Jamaica, I gotta be a song where the world like. Be like, okay, it have all these views. Let's go watch it. Mm-hmm. Most of the views come from curiosity. Make we could just face facts. True. Like the casino youth, for real. Like, yeah, you're like intrigued by him and like, yeah, so what is this? And then yeah. It's just curious. you're curious, you click it. True. You're gonna watch True. it. My thing is don't make it look that obvious. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, because I can understand like the pros of it, mm-hmm. isn't it? Because say that you do have a good song. Because some of them they might have a decent song and them. All right. Them use it for push the numbers to make it seem like, oh, there's a lot of people watch. And through that, people watch it because they must say, other people watch it, so make me watch it. And then, you know, if them can get it people out to be in a like dead that, it, mm, In it most cases, a, because pre this, there's cases, a lot yeah. of artists in Jamaica rock up way more views than me. Mm. Mm. Without a doubt. Nobody know them though. Mm. True. Let's be, let's be honest. Mm. True. There's mm. nobody stopping it to take a picture. There's nobody. Where where where's this where's this market that you get in all of these views? Mm-hmm. It just don't make a sense. Mm. So if you're going to buy views, have a plan <laughs> because <laughs> you're going to buy views. Nobody mm. still don't know you and nobody mm. know your song. Yeah. Yeah. I say at the talk now. I must say the artists them who are hit out against people that buy views. Them them only do so because them thing are fall off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Guess what. I see. Wow. I see that sentiment out there. All right. wow. Fall off is feasible, mm. mm-hmm. right? I wouldn't say I fall off. Me just like I ask if you felt when you spoke about like the people them who like will forget artists. If you feel that way about how like the fans them treat you out in a Jamaica, in a, like here locally. Um, in a Jamaica, the fans them know me. Mm. Mm. Uh, them start me and take picture. I don't have a lot of views. Like I think "So Sass" is my biggest song. Mm-hmm. Forget to say that, right? Yeah. And it's probably a little bit over two million views. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Organic views. You get where I come from. And I, I feel content with it. I don't feel no way about it mm-hmm. because guess what? I feel like I still do shows. Like I'm constantly booked. Mm-hmm. Like if anybody follow me on Instagram, then we see that. So I fly almost every other weekend. Or if yeah, most weekends. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I'm okay. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you you find out the people that, that are buying views are they going anywhere? Mm-hmm. Who is listening to these songs? Mm-hmm. And you feel you realize that the two million people who watch it are like roughly can say two million people willing to spend on you on average. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you don't trick yourself. That's mm-hmm. just what it is. Mm. Which is which it was down to that. Like how many people willing to to spend on it? It shows because guess mm-hmm. what? Your numbers reflect 
a lot of things. Mm. You get what I mean? I said, it was like, where you there? So, all right. You, you, you're a new artist. You're just boss. You have five million views on a song. Mm-hmm. All right? Especially in a COVID where you're not doing a show. You, you're, not, you're not grouping people mm-hmm. yeah. from different, different places. This is just online. Nobody know you. And everybody just interested in this. Think about it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but... Uh, I wonder if you had any expectations post Saucy and other songs that you did that was out there that more people would gravitate to you and at least have the name Kemar Icon upon them lips. Because it seemed like the conversation is not there in regards to like a Kemar Icon. Like it seemed like it's for the, the new artists, them now uh, far down and do them thing, the, the trap dance and, the, and well, them thing. The, yo, know. it it fear... Whatever you want to do for make your thing work, mm. do it. How my song them work? I was everywhere promoting my song. Mm-hmm. Mm. You get what I mean? Say? You, you, were. you would see me everywhere promoting my songs. Mm. I even got um corporate backing, right? Yeah, With, I had so. two corporate deals. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? I say everywhere promoting my songs. So that worked for me. Mm. Mm. COVID came, so that never did work for me. So I have to figure out something else. But mm. I'm not going to buy no views. Mm. For what? You get mm. what I say? So until I can go back to my original formula, I'll just try to figure it out, however. But until then, I'll just maintain my group of people where me have where like me for me mm. and into my thing, what me I do. Mm. And it worked for me because I still get book. I'm still a topic to whosoever want to be a topic. And I'm all right with it. Mm. So you went to Kenya, is it? Kenya, yeah. Kenya. I went to Kenya. But which other country you'd like to go to in Africa? Or I'd go to Gambia was, after. Yeah. I After I like say what them them cheap puppy, yeah, big up popcorn. Yeah. And I feel like popcorn is another artist that's doing great for the culture. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, he, he might not he might not trend in 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 dancehall or in Jamaica and YouTube as everybody else, but he might do good. I feel like with us we get trending as some form of accomplishment, which is not. No, it's not. But you know, is that is a notch in the the the. What makes it a notch? Up on the belt. Up on the belt, yeah. If it's a well, oh, belt. our song, at least for the moment in time that it came out, you know, it it was it was a topic of conversation. Uh, what if them song our trend? We don't remember them. Mm. Maybe I mean some of them I do. A some lot of them. Of, well, some of them, a mm. lot of them. Trend, mm-hmm. we don't remember them. Mm-hmm. Some names trend, well, we don't, we, we don't probably interview True. them. True, well, don't names, remember yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm fear, saying? So yeah. let's be fair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So fair. there's no going around it, and there's no, there's a whole heap of things that them do for be in the conversation and mm-hmm. end mm-hmm. up out of it. And it's one thing to be trending, and it's the next thing for our actual exactly. song and song that will last, last up and sustain exactly. in, a, in a the place for, so, for a good period of time. Eh? It still comes down to don't trick yourself. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that. <laughs> Yo, you're always for the uncles that stir with a bag of people in the camera. Always. <laughs> right? Me, I know what you're saying. Everybody was there that you didn't know him at all, but you didn't oh, chat too much. Because I remember the yeah, last time yeah, it was yeah. gatekeepers, right? It was a yeah, conversation yeah, yeah, like gatekeepers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, it's. <laughs> <laughs> to me, like, there's no gatekeepers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you don't have to read the that man shit. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. We could just get that out of Yeah. <laughs> so you said that you want to go to Gambia. And I think Ghana too, they have a strong... Um, Ghana too. Yeah. Um, mm. Dance yeah. present. So you realize that the African market is not just Afrobeat, but you realize it's Afrobeat, Afrobeat. So to be it's fair, dancehall. to be fair, Dancehall, I feel like Dancehall created Afrobeat. Yeah, I... I <laughs> you get yeah, what I'm saying? Them just realize that probably a lot of the songs that we are dealing with right now, them probably can't relate it too much. So mm. them just make their own thing. Mm. Mm. Or them just feel like, all right, then we can make our own thing now. Mm-hmm. You know? Which it, it, Afrobeat is doing great. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we cannot Amazing. lie about that. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I see a lineup the other day with a, it's, it's an Afro face and we only have two Dancehall artists on it, which is Beanie Man and Coffee. Mm. Mm. You get what I say? So, Afrobeat is doing good. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure the turnout with that will be great. Yeah. And the music <laughs> will be good. Them, and you know, as, as we've always discussed, is like uh, Africans 
support their African artists, not just yeah, with, so if not just see, with the following on social media, but going out to the show, buying the music, which actually means something in the in the broader space that's that's out there. All right, so if you look at the probably the lowest or the youngest African artists, mm-hmm. their following on Instagram is up, mm-hmm. and their following on Spotify is up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you are, if you really are look for your next Afrobeat artist to listen to, mm-hmm. Spotify. We'll you'll find you. that we'll mm-hmm. tell you mm-hmm. the next so if gambia say yo mango man up next he's up next because they're going to make sure him boss mm-hmm. that's how them work over there and not what you mean boss like in terms of s- streaming the music streaming watching. first of all streaming mm-hmm. them make them make i don't know how them do it but them have everybody i listen to this one artist if them say yo them up next mm-hmm. and it reflects in them spotify numbers not youtube because mm. some of these songs they don't even have video for them until they reach a certain amount of numbers mm. oh wow okay mm-hmm. as yeah. like maybe those numbers then determine if them for make a, a music video for them yeah mm. Push them and okay. then that probably would have been their breakout song mm. so I mean what are you looking to I mean I think that is it I feel like I don't know if it's the pandemic that caused this shift because most people would want to break in the US you know US probably Canada but everybody's eyes have, has always been on the US market. So we, we, are you thinking that there's a shift happening towards Africa and, and getting... No. Because the numbers that Popcorn did for that 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 tour, the concert, I think it was mm. like 10,000 people. That was amazing. That like was great. That number of people that was great. come up for like him specifically. He, and he was the only person yeah. on the show. You get what I mean? I say, so mm-hmm. he, Obviously, dance hall is still doing well. Mm-hmm. It's just not doing as well as we, we should. Mm-hmm. In the US market, because I guess that's where I feel like that's again to people always no, focus it's, on the it's, US. It's in a lot of markets mm-hmm. because a whole heap of young artists probably can't go to Africa. No. Can't or can you say? Can't oh. in terms of what, they, what are they going there for, really? Mm-hmm. You get where I come from? Mm-hmm. Where I for just probably figure that out mm-hmm. like, so when you go there was it a, a case that you were hoping to probably meet up with any afrobeat artists to see if their work can no, possibly happen i went or? there I, I, I went there with an the idea of promoting myself so i mm. print flyers and i give them out myself mm. Mm. flyers with my in my all of my handles and my platforms where you can find my music and walk and give them out wow. that was my thing while conscience i perform me then at the crowd i walk and give out my flyers wow. mm. That's yeah. just what I'm going there for do. And did you see a, a, a reflection in that? When the work yeah. in that, you see your numbers yeah. going up? Mm-hmm. My numbers went up. Mm-hmm. Um, I get a lot of messages. Most of the messages I get on Instagram now is from Kenya. Oh. Mm. So I'm African now. <laughs> <laughs> My My well, we are African. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Yeah, isn't it? our motherland. But I'm from Kenya now. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that was my idea. I, I planned for just print some flyers, mm-hmm. go over there, key them out, hand in hand. Mm. How much are the fans in where you actually far across actually speak music? I mean, English. I'm English. Yeah. A lot <laughs> of them. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them English. a lot of them a lot of them speak English yeah. a lot of them speak English mm-hmm. um, as I say they know the songs word for word mm-hmm. so and there's not some of them much, is like they know the song but they don't know if they actually speak the language language yeah, yeah. exactly and there's not much dancehall artist that's big in Kenya I can't speak for a lot of Africa other different African places mm-hmm. but I know Cecile is big over there mm-hmm. Christopher Martin is big over there mm-hmm. Conscience is big over there Jay Capri is big over there. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think I'm like Javinci big over there too. Like. Javinci, yeah, I heard some Javinci Africa, yeah. song. Mm. Charlie Blacks is big over there. Mm. There's not much like dancehall artists as Yeah, and it's mm. not even the newer ones too, like getting the airs. Like you see, the, is, is it a way, is it that they're stuck on one kind or the old version of dancehall and not probably giving much space to the newer version? What do you think that is? Um probably just the type of songs that we're making mm. the songs that i'm hearing over there are more calm more relaxed mm. more easy going girl and dance, girl wine. dance hall mm. so sexiness dancing mm. rhythm groove mm. yeah the songs that we make now is kind of a little bit different mm-hmm. we have a lot to say which is fine because a lot of th- a lot of inspiration come from where you're coming from or or just your everyday life or just your experience in life. So 
you can't knock out where they want to sing if they want to sing about where they want to go to or where they experience. Yeah. But for dance hall in itself, it's just a feel good thing, you know what I mean? Mm. Dance hall has always been sexy, dance, groovy. Mm. Vibe. Yeah. Would right. you say a lot of the dance hall that we currently hear dominating the space now, from your time there, you see Kanek over there? No. Mm. Mm. Are they open to to knowing new dancehall artists? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, from him there. No, um, but uh, of course they're open to to, to they people always want something new. Mm. Let's be let's be real. No, I was thinking more of the new sound and the new wave that's coming. Are they just mm. want they, new artists? They, they, but they want the old thing when they they know. want they want new, but it's not necessarily what we're doing right now. Okay. Mm. What we are doing right now, we in our, our immediate space can relate to that. Mm-hmm. You get where I come from? Mm-hmm. Them love dance all for sexiness, dancing, and groove. Mm. Mm. You get where I come from? And it's just it's just reality. What we're going to do? Change. <laughs> Speaking of sexiness, how do you get them so What? How do <laughs> Wait a That's what. You know you're saying? <laughs> all the over and them, all the young ladies over there, I'm sure that maybe um, uh, you might prep someone. To them, yo, one. listen over to there. me. As I said, them love you. Like, mm. like, all right, may I perform on this one lady? I don't know if you see the video on my Instagram. She literally actually kissed me. Wow. <laughs> Corona! <laughs> <laughs> you see me? Like, wow. she reach out and then, because I, Think she was trying to say something to me. So me stop. She literally try to kiss me. Mm. Yeah, them, yeah, them just love music. Them love people. Wow. I'm sure the bone if I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> she actually love it. Yeah. 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 Yo, woman like when woman like the man. You see me? Yeah. Woman like that. Not all the time. Woman like like especially if your you, if your girlfriend is jealous, it's going to be an issue. So it just depends on the type of woman. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They, they will be jealous, you know, but them still like when other women are attracted to them man because it validates their choice. You know. True. All right. Yeah. yeah. As a yeah. woman, I can confirm. See that. that. Yeah. It's true. But then if you, if if she on the jealous side, then she's not gonna really like that. She's going to be. Yeah. Well, it's I don't think she's insecure, so. Should mm. be fine. True. There you go. Insecure. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. That's the word. So there is a bony file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, yo, come on, I gotta change the game. Yo, dance our artists, them start claiming the woman them in 2022. Start going like so, they're not a body fine. Wow, that's a first. So, yeah. anybody know me, know say me love woman. Mm. Like, you won't see me that back of my apart. If you have ever seen me out, you'd see me woman. Mm. And I can that's, respect that because I'm, I'm, I'm like that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. You want a Dora Malaja? That's it. Like, that's, 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 that's what I'm telling you. Me want. Want a Dora Malaja a woman around me? Like, yeah. Like, it does. It does feel better. Mm. Like, I don't. I don't feel like me need a bag of man around me for. Mm. Pointless, wasteless man, right? Now, Munaga said that because their idea of having a bag of man is probably different than mine. No, I was saying like when when the bag of man them them pointless and wasteless. Does the bag of man thing does? All right, oh. we, we see it so much. <laughs> oh, what, what are you saying? Yeah, right, so <laughs> we are less. It does. It does. It does. It does too much. Yeah. Yeah. It does too much. It too much because, all right, your everyday life, you have a bag of man around you. Because mm. mm. dance is so male dominated for real. Like the studio. And then the guess what? Producer everywhere. Yeah, shoot. And most of the video that we come out of Jamaica right now, it's the same thing. You have mm. a lot of man. Yeah, you know, screw yeah. face. Yeah. yeah, the one NEC buckle. I, I post about it the other day. Tired one NEC buckle, 100 man. You get them, I say, even if girl in the video is like them, they really like the girl them. Mm. Them like girl, them they love girl. That the mm. girl. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I like, the girl them is like a prop. Yeah. Even though that's all they're usually in dance, but it's like they're a prop. While the man them more prominent in the in the background yeah. and the music. So yeah. get the big off. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just facts. You see it all the time. Mm. Mm. They, but then I mean, you think there's a shift or there can be a shift that's happening? Cause even I think I was trying to figure out a shift what? 
Well, we're gonna have to be a man in that video. No, we're not, not into that. No, <laughs> we're not I'm like trying, it. The source of what I'm trying to, if I don't remember, forgive me, but they're saying that, I think it's reggae music forever, saying that there was no new female artist like Boss, Boss, mm, last, last year, year yeah. compared to the men that we that came off prominence. We're not talking mm. about female artists here, Boss. Yeah. yeah, we do need more female yeah. artists. Mm. But and I think I, that's I one of that. the things, so like if there's a change in that with the artists coming up. No, I mean, I talk about the male them where does have a background and video them. Yeah, we do women as props. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do need more female artists. Yeah. Of course. And I think that's when it, the whole shift would happen. Like people won't just see us as prop anymore, or mm. like only can bust one or two. But mm. you see that there's a full quorum of women in dancehall, and maybe they'll be like, "Oh, well, maybe she's more than just a prop, or mm. oh, just a one off, or you can respect one off." But you know, there's I more mean, women. To be fair, mm-hmm. girl for in a video, of course, man video, yeah, enough girl too, yeah, yeah. That me I say. But then depending on the song though, because most of them are the bad man song you still can't put a girl in there yeah. but then that would have worse make could be a prop you talk about bad no. man or something well, no. yeah all right like, look look pretty soon how about yo, you have girls you're a bad man for your girl you're a bad man uh, you see me protecting your woman all right pretty like that you have girls who love badness mm. you get what i say like you have girls who gravitate to man and carry themselves a certain way like a bad man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have a girl and necessarily attracted to a bad man probably not gonna date a man like me mm-hmm. you get what i say so it it's it can work. Put her in the videos too. Make sure lick off the gun. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> yeah. No pun no, intended. No, no, no. We not? need we need cuss when I um intends use one as an ashtray. That'd be nasty. But that's that the same well. thing. That's the same no, thing no, you're really. gonna use her no. for suck the gun. No, the because gun? it have a double meaning. Oh, clean the right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Come on, I can be myself. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan for 2022? Yeah. <laughs> well, the plan is to keep on building my brand mm-hmm. and just keep on doing it the right way. Eh? Yeah. And you, 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 sorry, because you talk about COVID. I mean, I mean, we talked to most people last year. I'm wondering that how much has it derailed them? It, was it? Yeah, COVID. A significant derailment for you? Yeah, I would say that, but mm-hmm. um. I don't think it 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 it's it's going to come and go as we would like it. Mm-hmm. it. There we have to deal with it. Mm-hmm. You just have to pick up the pieces and move on. Yeah. You know what I mean? As I say, you just keep, keep on building your brand. Yeah. Keep on feeding people that's into what you're into, and it will work. And how you navigate to going to to Kenya with all these new restrictions? Because I'm sure you know where where the so we have to take a yellow fever, fever shot. We have mm-hmm. to take a COVID. I feel like every two days I have to take a COVID shot, mm. uh, a COVID test, test, test mm-hmm. yeah. rather. Um, I feel them COVID tests kind of like a bit different. Oh, so them test your nose and them test your mouth. Okay, yeah, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I get used to it because traveling you just have to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where you can do? You see, they do it or you don't. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, then you're not gonna make no money. True. So, True. Yeah. So yeah, I mean how. Just trying to figure out like how you're going to navigate this new time that we're in. Cause it, I mean it I can try really to figure it out like a new I can try to figure era. it out. As I say, era. before I was always out promoting or have somebody promoting for me. Mm-hmm. No, there's not much ways to do that. So I just have to sit down and figure it out. And while I figure it out, I'll just keep on putting out good music and not buy views. <laughs> I mean, buy, buy. You're so specific on buying. Buy the different, different socks. Them the organic way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> yo, yo, what we do? I interview Kema. We need to have him on a podcast, man. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, okay, we okay, can't talk to Kema now, man. <laughs> podcast vibes the next time. You yeah. know what I mean? But I mean. Okay, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast vibes. <laughs> Podcast vibes. For real. Tell people that we don't care for you, though. Kemar. For the people Kemar Icon is K-E-M-A-R-H-I-G-H-C-O-N. All platforms. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You tell the people that we have next in the pipeline. Like, yeah, we have promoted. Well, well, I just oh, drop a them. song. Um, Volcano featuring Conscience. Mm-hmm. Videos out. Check it out. Mm-hmm. I have a song called Shots and Bad Socks. Bad song. Check of it course. out. Yeah. Track star, you mean? I feel like you work good with track star. Is yeah, that, track star, you know? track star. As I said, track star, my sound. Mm. Mm. That that sound that people are familiar with. Yeah, because yeah. you know, every I'm listening to you, and I swear to God, like me, I, me just I sing 
so clean, so. Hey, give me a say no. Arian, get back, get back, get back. Because you bop. just see it, you just uh, at least every bop. Bop. song so, to me, right? So. It's a bop. That is good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the, the the song them why I'm doing them connect. The up uh, there are some bop. Yeah. Like yeah, there, there are songs that even now when they're played, they yeah, yeah. like feel yeah. like new them song. just come out right. And people would say, I me would have said I have I probably have three hit songs mm. that people know. Dookie Bunks, Talk Boat, So Saucy. Mm. Every other song you really have to be a fan for me. I me for really know them. Mm. But and I'm okay with so that. Saucy. I just keep on building on it. She's right. Yeah. yeah. And get more songs than what we see where I say, yeah, that, that I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, cut your man before we get in any trouble. Yeah, man. Yeah. Any more trouble. Yeah. yeah, I mean, bless up though, bro. Big up. Guidance for the chat. Every time. You know what I mean? Shout out wifey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, we got it. <laughs>